I really hope that you've enjoyed your week at the Youth Pilgrimage at Home. It's been really quiet here in Walsingham this week and we have really, really missed you all. Typically, the weather here in Norfolk has been great this week. I've even missed my tent and I never thought in a million years that I would actually ever say that. Obviously, there's some things that we can't recreate virtually, such as the lively services, camping with your group, the sports, the giant inflatables, all the fantastic workshops. But most importantly, being all together, having lots of fun and sharing our faith. But a huge thank you to all the people who have contributed towards all the videos that we've made this week. To Bishop Philip and to Father Kevin Smith. To the amazing CJM providing the music, as it really wouldn't have been the same without them and to the lovely Father Philip Barnes and the lovely Father Paul Robinson for the Bible studies. To Reverend Alice for the amazing Rocky Road recipe. And to all those of you who sent clips for the Holy Mile Rosary procession. There are too many to name individually, but they were all brilliant. And to all the young people who sent in their videos sharing all about why Walsingham is so important to them. And finally, to you, all of you watching at home and for those of you who sent in lots of photos as to what you've been up to hopefully it won't be long until we can all be together again and if you haven't been before i really hope that you'll join us physically in walsingham as soon as is possible but until then take care keep yourself safe and god bless We're now coming to the end of the 2020 virtual youth pilgrimage at home and in a moment we'll make our last visit to the Holy House here behind me. It's been great to share together with you over the last few days so much of what we love about the youth pilgrimage, even though we haven't been able to be here physically in Walsingham. I hope that you've enjoyed the week 
even if you've missed all the fun of camping, of queuing up for the showers, and being chased by those wasps. Now we prepare to leave Mary's home here in Walsingham. But the wonderful thing is, Mary never leaves us. She cares for us, prays for us, and encourages us in life's journey. Because she wants us to know Jesus, her son. She wants us to follow him day by day, because she knows that he has the words of eternal life. She knows that in him we can find the true meaning of life, life in all its fullness. As we prepare to return to our daily lives, we ask for the prayers of Mary, Queen of all creation. And my prayer for you is that you will know God's love for you, because you are beautiful in his eyes. God has made you. He has created you. You are God's work of art. His spirit lives in you. And the more all of us come to realise that, the more we will come to find the true meaning of life and the true beauty of all that God has made, not only in the world around us, but in each other. So let's now turn to the Holy House here in Walsingham, Mary's home here in England's Nazareth. And giving thanks for all the blessings we've received during these past few days, pray that we may stay close to Jesus, her Son, and that we may follow him with joy and with faith day by day. Now, Lord, you have kept your word. Let your servant go in peace. With my own eyes I have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us thank God for all the blessings of our virtual pilgrimage, and ask our Lady of Walsingham to pray for us as we return to our daily lives. O Mary, Mother of Jesus, I thank God through your Son for the grace of a happy youth pilgrimage at home, and for all that has happened to me while I have been here spiritually. Pray for all those I have met here and for all my fellow pilgrims. Pray that I may have a safe and happy return home, and that God may give me the grace to do at home what you have taught me to do here. Protect us who hope and trust in you.
Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.